Speaking of free sun, remember when solar panels were all the rage? They still are, but we're continuously told these are a powerful weapon in the fight to zero emissions. Everyone should get them if you have a surface slap another solar panel on. Well, this article from the BBC today says, oh, hang on a minute, there's a problem with that. The quote says it's going to be a waste mountain by 2050 unless we get recycle chains going now, says Ute Collier, Deputy Director of the International Renewable Energy Agency. So he would know. Turns out these things have a maximum lifespan of 25 years. And then it's, hello, landfill. <laughs> Where are we supposed to... And that's to say nothing of the fact that the vast majority of them are manufactured in China. Mm. So these guys love this policy of ours while they're building two new coal plants every other day. We're blowing ours up and paying them to make our solar panels. So we've got a looming environmental disaster caused yeah. by our efforts to uh, fix a... There's a problem. That? There's a problem with our solution. <laughs> Disaster. It, is it not the ultimate example of, of how all of this is just window dressing? It's about making the greenies and yep. the lefties feel good about themselves. Oh, we're doing something nice for the planet. When they've known forever, if you're going to build a solar panel, you've got to dig heavy metals out of the ground. If you want to build a wind turbine, you've got to dig heavy metals out of the ground. But we've got to ban mining, so we can't make the solar panels. Oh, no! What are we going to do then? Uh, it's the same as last week we were talking about a story about the batteries they put in electric right. vehicles. And we're now being warned that we're not ready to deal with all the waste that's going to come out of these batteries because, again, they've got a, a restricted lifespan and then we've got to put them in the ground afterwards. We create one problem to try and fix another and then on and on and on and on it goes. So we haven't thought in? what to do with solar panels, EV batteries, wind turbines when they run out. We're shutting coal-fired power stations when we don't yet have baseload energy. It's this rush to embrace renewables without any thought, but it's created by the panic, right? Because we're continually told the world's about to fry. We're told we're on a, a highway to climate <coughs> hell. And so zombie-like, our politicians just race full bore ahead without any thought for how any of this is going to be structured.